first tonight, the latest in a fatal double shooting this Saturday in Pawtucket. It happened around 1.30 this morning at a home on Beechwood Avenue right next to Memorial Hospital. One of the young men later pronounced dead in Providence at Rhode Island Hospital. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin is in Pawtucket speaking with those who knew the slain local athlete inside and outside the ring. Eric? Jared, a detective here with the Pawtucket Police Department tonight tells me that they are interviewing somebody in connection with this shooting, but they are not calling that person a suspect right now. Marcelino DeBaris is the 20 year old man that was shot and killed in this shooting, and we're learning tonight more about him that he was a boxer, a local boxer here, and that his gym is already planning ways to remember him. An honorary 10 count for Marcelino DeBaris at a boxing event in Massachusetts tonight. The local boxing community, including his coach and former fellow fighters from Big Six Boxing Academy in Providence, now missing someone they called one of their prized fighters. This kid was genuinely a good kid. College, school, home and work, that was his life. And he was a very good fighter too, three-time uh, Golden Glove champion for New England. According to Pawtucket Police, two people who lived at 34 Beachwood Ave were shot around 1.30 Saturday morning. One was 23-year-old Jalen Braxton, who was treated and released from the hospital. The other was the boxer, 20-year-old Marcelino DeBarros, who police say died at Rhode Island Hospital overnight. Roland Estrada was his coach, and DeBarros isn't the first fighter he's lost. This one hurts a lot more because this was a really good kid, and, you know, like I said, he's part of our family. DeBarros is pictured here on the wall in the black boxing helmet with others from the gym. His main sparring partner, Michael Valentin, says they were each in the gym five to six days a week. A1, when he was on his game, he could box, he could fight fast, powerful. The kid, kid had a lot of talent. Pawtucket police have not yet released info about a suspect or motive yet, but last night, in moments following the shooting, they could be seen with weapons drawn in a canine unit, searching several blocks around the neighborhood. Back at the gym, Valentin plans to walk out with a poster of DeBarros at his next fight in December. Sparring, cracking on each other, you know, it was just a bond that you just can't bring in. Again, no word on a, on a suspect or an arrest, but we are told from police that they're interviewing somebody in connection with this shooting. We also did look into the court records of the two victims here, and we're learning that they were supposed to be in court this week on misdemeanor charges, but police tell, tell us that those charges are not related to this shooting. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.